Ah, just trying to gather my thoughts here before I tell you guys what's happening. A few weeks ago, my honors education course, a young fella, uh, Marcus Leonard, his name was, he gave me some of these cotton balls that are coated in a wax. And uh, I'm gonna try to light my fire with one today, see how they work. He says I gotta put a spark right in the center. And let's give it a try. Oh boy. Hmm. They do work. Good job, Marcus. Thanks again, buddy. show you something that you've seen me use before in other videos and if you want to win yours today stay tuned and uh, you'll get a chance to win this one Same company makes these titanium cups uh, with a uh, fork, knife, and spoon set here. And I'll throw it out within the package today. And there's a full set there, but uh, just show you how the fork works there. Locks in place. Pretty cool. Are you hungry?
Ah, just trying to gather my thoughts here. Before I tell you guys what's happening. Well, it's another big, beautiful day in the big land of Labrador. And I love it here. I really do. This is, uh, this is home, no doubt. Beautiful, especially this time of the year after the cold winter we had. You can finally just put on a ball cap and walk through the woods and come up by a brook and not freeze to death, you know. But as the title suggests, uh, I'm moving. Now you're all wondering where, where is he moving? Well, actually, it's uh, fulfilling a dream is what it is. Because I will be moving. Uh, I have I own a home in uh, in town here, and of course I spend most of my time down in my cabin, my off grid cabin. And I've had that cabin there now for 20 years or so. But I never lived there full time, of course, because my kids were going to school and doing their social things in town. But of course, we would spend every single holiday that we could down in the cabin because it's the, it's the life, and it's and it's my life. It's it's the way that I think, and I I always want to be in the woods. Now that might be sound strange to a lot of you people, uh, especially people who don't be in the woods, or it might sound glorious to you. I'm not sure, but either way, I can't break myself from that. I grew up in a little small town with like 60 people in it. Not even as much as a gas station there. And uh, so I just always live like this. So my dream, my dream was to actually live in the woods, off grid, and just do my thing. And now my kids are growing up, you know, Andrew's a fine young man and he works a permanent job now. And my daughter's in school and she's on her way. So it's a bit of an empty nest at the house there now, so why would I stay there, really? Uh, and right off the bat, there's people who say, oh, you're not getting any younger. Exactly. That's why I'm doing it now. People talk about dreams, you know, and they'd love to do this. And one of these days I'm going to do that. And one of these days I'm going to do something else. Well, this is one of those days for me now. The time is right. Um, I'm going to sell my house. But even that's exciting. Because my son is going to buy my house. Which he'll be set on his way now. And i got a place to come back to town if I come back to town, you know. When I come back to town, I will come back, of course. And the cabin, this is the mind-blowing part. I did a lot of research on this, and I have a log cabin kit being delivered here um, in June. Um, I've been working with a company out on the island of Newfoundland called Adventure Log Homes. And I'm telling you right now, like I, I dealt with four or five other companies, but I'm telling you it's been an amazing experience uh, dealing with uh, Dean Abbott, the owner of the company. And it's just been a pleasure. So I can't wait for my cabin to come up. Of course, I can't build it in the wintertime here. Now I've got to wait for the snow to go. So you're going to see some major changes happening in my life and you'll see how I build this cabin. I will take you guys through that entire build. How exciting is that? From the time that that truck pulls up with that, with most materials on there, I gotta do a lot of work myself first. My other cabin, what's gonna happen to that? I'm gonna move that one to another piece of my property. And I'll use that for storage in my workshop. And this is a beautiful building, you know. But you're gonna see a lot of smiles on my face because when I started assembling this log cabin kit and going through it, and I've built cabins before and sheds and garages and I've done all that, but this is a unique experience. It's got a, it's called the super log and it's an engineered thing. And I, you know, I visited the factory where they make it and it's just unbelievable. And you guys are going to be amazed. You will be amazed. I promise you will. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm pretty excited right now. And how could I not 
be excited, you know? You have challenges and you work so hard in your whole life. And then it comes down to a day, you know? It could be a good day, it could be a bad day. And I had some bad days. And if you guys look back over my videos, you'll know what that's all about. But today, to be able to tell you guys this news is a good day. Sitting out here by this brook, willow right there, sleep, having a cup of tea, and giving things to you guys. You know, you guys watch and you you inspire me all the time. And I love to give you things back, you know. And this company, they send me stuff like this. And I'm just going to give it back to you. And you can enjoy it too, just like this. But anyhow, I'm going to need your guys' help. Yes, that's what I said. Because I'm going to come along some significant challenges. you got to realize now that I'm living in the north. And it's easier to build a cabin and live in it when it's a warm climate but you know you saw how i suffered some days through this winter so cold so cold and you got to deal with water water wants to freeze water will freeze so i got ideas in my mind i've got things coming every day i got people who are reaching out to me and companies who are reaching out to me and I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got there. And uh, I showed a picture of a power station. And some people would question why you would show products. Because it's good for you, the watcher. This grill is good for you guys. The power station I'm going to show you in a couple of videos time. I've been using it and trying to figure out I'm going to incorporate that into my brand new off-grid cabin. And you guys are going to see things like that. And sometimes I'm just going to be stumped. And they're going to make mistakes. But that's it. It's going to happen one way or the other. And I'm happy about it. And I can't wait for you guys to come along. The regular videos will keep coming as well. I'm going to be at my cabin all the time. I'm going to be growing more of my own vegetables. I'll have a greenhouse. I'll have a sawmill. And I'll saw my own logs and lumber. And it's, I mean, I'm just thrilled. It's a good day. It's a, good... it's a good day. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. In three days' time, I'm gone on that big fishing trip on the coast of Labrador. Me and my son are going to meet up with a bunch of more guys. And I tell you, it's going to be a fantastic trip if the weather permits and all that. And we're going to have some fishing and hot winter tanting. Woo! Oh yeah, I didn't tell you how to win that uh, grill. Just like the video and leave a comment and your chance to win is coming right up. Come here. Come on, let's say goodbye to the people. Come on. Sleepy head. She had a little lunch. Now she wants to just go to sleep. Yeah. She'll be in all the videos as well. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Guaranteed. What do you think? <laughs>